up, guys? I just actually finished a live session and uh, took an AU short and still hunting uh, possible GU long. So let me show the one trade I took so far today. So AU short. So we have obviously a downtrend. This was, you know, the, the news, the big deal news. Technically comes in as a sign of weakness with a fake break pattern. Uh, we also see the result, which is we started trending downward. Okay, now, as we're trending downward, let me zoom in so this volume is not affecting everything else, making it look low. So as we move down, are there any signs of strength whatsoever, really, in this trend? Okay, that's now. That's different. So leading up to this short, how healthy is this down move? Okay, we know we have weakness there and all that. And you see the very little buying. See, this is a regular day. This is not news. See the lack of any signs of strength? Very low volume down here compared to, like, Friday. Uh, so very, very healthy move. Moving down on sort of low volume telling you how little buying there really is. It's not a ton of selling that created this down move. It's selling but lack of buying. Very imbalanced market, right? We can also, as I referred to it, you could call this a very healthy downtrend that hasn't seen much buying yet, right? So it's one of those. And now, like I say in these situations, it's less likely that you're going to get a FIB retracement sort of entry because there's simply not a lot of buyers. Make sense? So this is a smaller FIB area and some confluence levels where a potential short entry is reasonable. You're at least a good distance from the low. You're not chasing the move. And the market is very out of balance, and we'll see how it sets up, right? It gets to that first sort of FIB area of a smaller move. So here we are. And this is that area. And you see daily pivot, but really there's the FIB and there's the reaction in there. Now this is also this is buying and selling. This is not healthy up moves. This is selling into this, these up moves, by the way. As far as buying, that would take place here, right? We don't see that. Again, while I'm at it, look how little buying there is in the background here. Nothing stands out as far as any sort of accumulation type of activity, right? So very healthy stuff. This is maybe the only thing. Um, so here we are here. We get our volume. This is a multiple broker volume. We get a nice top on high volume. We get a good test of the 14 EMA on low volume with a no demand. It's daily pivot. It's previous resistance turn support. It's 14 EMA. It's an obvious test area. There's the no demand. Right there. Weakness, no demand, test. This is my entry on this close of this candle. Or towards the end of it, or on the close. Okay, this candle was sort of neutral, didn't mean much here, but this is our test area, and we drop on volume, very good. I like this solid close after the no demand. That really helps confirm. Another little no demand happened, and then off we go. All around this you know area where we expect not even enough buyers to create a double top or anything, right? Very lack of buyer situation. And then you see the move, you know, it finally hits some buying here. Um, I did react to that, you know, partial profit stuff uh, as a first target, 20-something pips or whatever. And now I'm trailing it behind the 14 EMA, as I've talked about in my other videos about managing trades. There's some lower areas I'm trying to get to down here, larger FIB and stuff. So that was a nice move there. Uh, so now the GU. So we have a potentially bullish situation here. It's pretty clean, right? We have a one, two, three, four, five, A, B, and C down to FIB, and we're kind of doing a fake break, and we're, we've completed the pattern that basically says bullish. If volume agrees, we have something. Now let's look at yesterday. Again, news move aside. Let's get that off the chart because it's throwing things off. So here's our FIB zone entry. Nice volume, right? Good. That's yesterday, Monday, so that's pretty good. Then we go today, lower prices, right, always revealing. Huge buying, and shows up at the five-minute, too, and look at this. So they're accumulating here and looking to continue the uptrend after the retracement to FIB, right? We know this. Okay, very simple trade. Nice fake break. A lot of things going on in here, right? Good stuff. See how it looks on the five-minute? We enter the FIB area here. We get some buying. Every time lower prices are made, buying comes in. Lower prices, high volume, stop the progress. S1, low down in the FIB zone. Those buyers better be there, right? There they are. 
slightly lower price buyers testing for sellers here right testing for sellers and here they're testing for sellers and they showed up here they're testing for sellers they showed up here they're testing for sellers look at the low low volume so it's now it's look like it's more likely to turn now and be able to successfully start moving up um, I would look for a, another test in this area again it's 14 EMA automatic rally off of the strength right a little whatever this line was oh something there uh, but that's obviously the test just those two things sort of in here now so it could give another no supply kind of thing here in an entry it looks soon to give an entry so see how this goes that's pretty textbook stuff right all right so that's it guys keep an eye on that if it comes it comes if not so be it got the au today really really good conditions now i love it good to be in september and and past the fed stuff and everything's good now this may hit my trail it's right there at 24. um best time of year now now to december right besides if there's uncertainty or any big news i mean i'm hitting targets you know within you know an hour or two it's not this all day drawn out wait for new york news stuff it's nice and quick it's good stuff I'm happy. It doesn't really much get much better than this as far as the conditions of the market. This is it. Uh, all right, guys. So there you go. See ya.